The vid link is a brief one. There's nothing to report. She exchanges small talk with the communications operative. The need to converse regularly for mental hygiene and morale is recognised by the state. But Lee knows that the pseudo-hominid CO is generating speech in response to her initiatives, and she never finds it satisfying. As soon as the link is broken, she removes the two halves of the suit. First the top half, crossing her slim arms, grabbing the front of the bottom hem, lifting and uncrossing over her smooth-skinned head. She always does this quickly, so that her small breasts bounce just once, and throws the top towards the instrument panel. Then, by contrast, she slowly removes the tight pants, easing them down over her pressed-together knees and calves, until the garment sits on the deck a sloughed skin around one ankle. Then she kicks it lightly to join its upper half mate, both floating and pulsing amoeba-like around the cabin. This slow striptease is for her eyes only. She looks at her image in the self-monitor, part critically, part admiringly. She runs her hands over her small, hairless body, almost prepubescent breasts, over her clearly defined abs and tiny waist. She stands modestly, coquettishly, one knee turned towards the other. Then she stands legs wide apart, hands on narrow hips, chin thrust forward aggressively. She laughs at herself. She loves this feeling of freedom, showing off her lean body to the entire universe, yet to no living being, naked and powerful, with the whole constellation of Andromeda before her. Outwardly motionless, inwardly an exploding supernova, thrusting silently and eternally forward into the void.